am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, as a matter of fact, what we're going to talk about today is Donald Trump primarily. Okay, I want to go back to how he was created in his how his public image was uh, created, uh, going back to his apprentice days and up to current, and see uh, why did this happen to us. But also, there's some stuff been going on with the New York uh, former New York um, uh, state governor officials who worked for Cuomo and also then, of course, for Hochul after she took over Cuomo, naturally. But it looks like they were influencing what the governors were saying and how uh, for the Chinese government. So all this should be very interesting, and I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Okay, so this should finally be recording. This will be a long entrance. So this is uh, what we're going to talk about now. Uh, is uh, Donald Trump and how he got to where he is and it's via Mark Burnett if you remember this is a guy that was a creator I think of The Apprentice and he's very religious you know his wife is Roma Downey uh, of um, Touched by an Angel uh, TV fame and she does a lot of movies and stuff but they're very deeply religious couple so it's so interesting that they are what brought this man to national and really world uh, attention with that long-run Apprentice TV show that uh, has got copies all over the all over the world, and everybody that's what made uh, Donald Trump such a uh, everyday household name. He was already known around the world, but this is what made him known every day in everybody's house. So, uh, Mark Burnett, uh, what did that have to do with it? Where he is today? Did uh, Trump have to happen? Was this um, inevitable? And um, and uh, and we'll see uh, how our little democracy survives it. Uh, then the other thing is just a, a piece on the news that I noticed is that this this former top aide to New York Governor uh, Cuomo, uh, Mario Cuomo, uh, and uh, and then of course after he resigned to uh, Hochul, I've forgotten her first name, uh, Governor Hochul. And, uh, but apparently she and her husband uh, were arrested at a three and a half million dollar home uh, for being uh, Chinese agents, somehow unregistered uh, influencers for the Chinese government. And they've actually, apparently, according to what I read on, in some news clips, uh, blocked uh, the New York governors from getting information from the Taiwanese, go Taiwanese government. So very deep in the pockets of China are, is this uh, woman and her husband. So we'll just do a, a draw on that because it sounds interesting. So uh, here we go. Love these uh, Japarizzi tarot. These are by Nino Japarizzi, and she's a beautiful artist. And I'll talk about more about her, you know, as I always do at the end of the video, uh, where you learn about these cards. And they're really cool and they're beautiful, you're going to see. So Donald Trump, he was created, uh, really, um, Mark Bennett picked up a stinking rose, dried it out in the sun, and sold it to millions. Okay, uh, so he took something that had expired and made it something else that was interesting and desirable, and uh, that was Donald Trump. And you want to think them being such a religious couple, because I honestly feel like Donald Trump is a, is a, is a work of evil, um, that they would be but, but then, uh, you know, they would feel sorry that they had such a big part in the rise of Donald Trump for greed, for money, because they were made, of course, millions of dollars on that. And that's all they do. They do lots of TV movies and documentaries and, and uh, uh, actual movies having to do with uh, Christianity. Uh, so it's interesting. It's just interesting. Uh, fits right in with that um, religious hook that he has across the country. But you know, before I do too much more, let's have just a moment of uh, meditation because I'm ready to start uh, reading the cards.
So, the making of Donald Trump. That's really uh, what I'm interested in through the eyes of Mark Burnett and, if uh, applicable, his wife Rona, Roma Downey. Yeah, uh, three cards. I feel like this is going to be Mark Burnett on his feelings with this Trump situation. So the Eight of Gardens. Gardens are pinnacles, and the Eight of Pinnacles is practicing your craft. And so this was just work, okay? And, uh, and uh, it was uh, profitable, it was worth doing, and um, it was work. I mean, there's talk that Trump was absolutely vile on the, behind the scenes on the sets of those Apprentice uh, shows, especially towards the end. The Ace of Tides, so Tides are Cups, so a huge um, Ace of Compassion. This would be like a fist coming out of the cloud for uh, Compassion. So money, I don't know how you get all of this empathy. And then uh, the Three of Fire, Fire being Wands, Action Plans, Forward Movement. And the Three of Fire is Long-Term Plans. And you know what? This is faith. This is faith. There was an opportunity to make money that was presented to him. And so he did it. And he did it compassionately. The best that he could possibly do it. Okay? And then the long-term plan is what he couldn't have known. All right? And uh, so the heights that this work would go to. I mean, look, this has influence over, you know, certainly the landscape. And um, so he just did what a human being is supposed to do. What us as little worker bees or ants are supposed to do. Work, bring as much back to the hive as you can, be profitable. But we're not talking about the influence of evil. Was he just blind to the to that? I, I've, I've not worked in my professional career uh, when I used to work for a living. I've not worked for people um, just because I didn't like them. So, so that's Burnett. So he just feels like he just did what he was inspired to do. And in fact, does this mean, three more cards, so did he deliver Trump to the place, four cards, did he deliver Trump to the place he is, was this always part of the bigger plan that, of course, he didn't know, uh, Trump uh, didn't know, but it was always part of the plan. Gesture of gardens. Just to go, so gardens are compassion. Gesture would be like a page, I guess. So, um, not that much, okay? Uh, gardens are like pen uh, pentacles. So, not that much value to that idea. But uh, look at this, but also, it, it is involved with winds are uh, swords, so truth, justice, rules, and law. So, but but also there's some uh, meat to that argument. Uh, the ten of fire, fire being wands, a heavy load to carry. Ten of wands. <clears throat> wow. And a card to match up with where Mark Burnett's going to pick it up. This Eight of Gardens. So destiny built right up slowly, you know, and there was a big load and he took advantage of the opportunity. Um, does Trump think he's divinely... Uh, entitled somehow. Does Trump feel like he's, um, you know, some kind of otherworldly, divinely supposed to be in the position he's in right now? Uh, in other words, uh, he doesn't feel like uh, it's all that bad. He's supposed to be in this prominent position. Let's do six cards. He died at cross. So. He does. Signifier card for that is war. Look at that. 
This is the four in the major arcana. So this is the emperor. This is war. If you look closely at this card. I hope you can see it. These are uh, little uh, men, it looks like, with arrows shooting up at these other figures that look like people hanging off of this tree. Low-hanging fruit, isn't it? So, yeah. And, and it is where we're supposed to be. Interesting. The uh, challenge to that, then, is this to finding the, ba the balance of the value of the moment. The basis of the whole thing is the seven of fire. Ah, so fire is actually playing its forward movement. The seven of fire is, you know, kind of having just enough to survive this issue somehow. This doesn't look very hopeful for this person. And in the past of this is the six of fire. So the six of wands. And um, that's victory. Oh, victory is over. So the, all the, the wonderful benefits of this horror that uh, Donald Trump's life has brought us to, that's over. The Seven of Tides, which is emotion, so this is cups, so this is a Seven of Cups, so this is illusion and delusion, and that's what's in the sky. And uh, that's all this could ever be. And look at this, you even have like a little king figure, almost, uh, with all of the treasures around him, but also with snakes, serpents, and, uh, on, and pearls. So, and all of it uh, set against a backdrop of emotion, uh, both uh, suave, smooth, and devastating. So, it was always gonna be that wild ride. And the likely outcome is this ace of, a great big ace of wands. It is the outcome that's supposed to be coming, and it's, I, my reads are always um, toward, toward the positive. So, yeah. So now that, that those, Chinese spies. How in the world does that happen? Chinese spies. Linda Sun and her husband. I'll put it on the screen because I've got to look it up. But I'll make sure and put it in here somewhere. The two of their names and, and uh, see what I can find too as far as images. But uh, so this couple had been in for some time. I don't know how long they had been working for the previous couple. Uh, Cuomo. And, um, or even if we know how long they've been spies, I mean, did they come over? Were they sent over for the Chinese government? Were they just recruited over here? Um, interesting. So let's do uh, three cards just to get an idea if these cards can tell us, you know, how embedded are these people. So the Eight of Tides, so Tides is emotion. The uh, Eight of Cups is uh, having to leave something behind of emotional importance. And uh, so it looks like maybe they did that. Um, the Eight, another Eight of uh, Swords, which is just being trapped. But you don't have to be trapped. You don't have to be a spy. And uh, the government, wow. Wow. <laughs> so that's... That's pretty amazing. So, uh, so yeah, the Eight of Cups is leaving something emotionally important behind you. Homeland, perhaps? I don't know. Um, a normal way of life, maybe. Uh, the Eight of uh, Swords, be feeling trapped. Maybe once you're in that position, you feel like you can't get out, but you can. You just don't need to do it anymore and suffer whatever consequences. When you do something wrong, you pay the price, whatever it is. And then the Hierophant, the government. <laughs> okay, so we're on their track. So... What do I want to know about this? Well, will they uh, will they pay the price for what they've done? They're guilty. The first little three cards have said it all. All of this, the rest of this, is just uh, a filler for you guys. <laughs> so, will they pay the price? Six cards. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. I'm just always shocked when the cards are so on the nose. Shouldn't be, I guess. That's why I started doing this regularly, because it started happening regularly. 
Um, so again, we got the uh, page of uh, cups uh, as, as the so this is a, a, a little bit of emotion here. Okay, for these spies, how do they? So the six of tides is uh, oh no, this is the page of pentacles. So this is the page of pentacles. So this is a little bit of value, is what that is. And the six of tides is emotion. So. Six of Cups, this is remembering how things were in the past. Oh my goodness, this is leaving something innocent uh, behind you. And then, the, so that's the challenge to taking this uh, journey. And the bottom of this is the Four of uh, Cups, which is something you don't really want. So once you get into it and you start to get the rewards, which is all this lovely ocean to float on, you realize there's some of it that you never wanted. You didn't, you, you don't get, you didn't get it. There's a price to pay. And the past of this is being the star. Okay, so all of that glamour, you've been arrested. Uh, that's done. You'll be lucky if the Chinese government recognizes you even. Uh, in the sky, the king of tides. So the king of cups in the sky, you are at the mercy of someone uh, else. And then the uh, likely outcome of this is the seven of cups. So this is illusion and illusion. So there will be something moved uh, to your benefit. Interesting. So we have to watch that. Uh, that kind of thing interests you. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So this Japaridze tarot is amazing. They're by Nino Japaridze. Now she's a Georgian artist. Georgia, not the United States. Georgia, Europe. Uh, uh, and um, so these are beautiful. Even the, the packaging is wonderful. It's shiny and glossy. It's a nice, you know, if you gave this as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, that was a really nice gift. The guidebook is so amazing. The text in this guidebook is by someone named Steve Lucas, and uh, his story is interesting, and it kind of goes over that in, in the guidebook, how he came to know her, and uh, he's a fellow a couple years uh, younger than me, lives in New York, uh, an art uh, enthusiast and gallery owner, and he happened to meet uh, Nino, as a matter of fact, uh, on a uh, trip to Paris, about 2008, I think it was, where they, uh, he, she was exhibiting her art, which I understand she's been doing for years, I mean, since she was a child, and um, and so they came to an agreement that she would do uh, some depictions of the major arcana about six months down the road. That was about finished. And he, he talked to her about doing the rest of the cards. That took about another year. So she's probably got two years into the... All of these are full-size, whatever full-size is for her, paintings. And uh, I can imagine that anybody would love having uh, some of these uh, works of art uh, in their home framed. Um, and they certainly exist somewhere. So I like to... to um, Spread these cards out like this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, you can get a sense of what a whole pack looks like. And um, and the only difficulty with cards like these, this kind of surrealist art, is that you really need to know uh, what your divination of the uh, Rider Waite system is going to be. So they're beautiful cards, and I love using them.